I just tried to go live on uh, on Twitch, and uh, that was a smashing, smashing failure. So, uh, hopefully, this will still be as easy as it ever was. Uh, let me see if I can get this on my screen. Oh, here we go. Good to not at least see chats when they come up. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, go like that. This thing is like super, super widescreen. Let me lower the music a little bit. Where is the music? Music is over here. Music is pretzel, so. I don't know if you can hear it at all. I'll bring it closer. The idea is you can hear the music and I can hear myself think. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's not terrible. That's I'm not hating this. <laughs> that's not terrible. I'm not hating this. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, let's look at some McFarland stuff. I got two giant boxes of stuff today. Uh, when I say they're giant, well, you know what? I have to mute that, don't I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, that's better. Now you won't hear an echo. <coughs> okay, so I got two massive boxes today. They are so big that I had to load them in the car and bring them around to... Uh, the entrance for where I do all my work because there was no way I was getting down a flight of stairs and past my furniture. So, uh, let's start with McFarland's new line that dropped into Toys R Us very unexpectedly. They've got My Hero Academia. These are smaller sized. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Here's a, that's a, you know, six inch Marvel Legends figure. So these are like five inches. So maybe they wanted some figures in scale with the traditional anime scale. I don't know. Is this traditional anime scale still? Anyway. You got Midoriya. In this little scale. These are in, to not Toys R Us. These are in Walmart right now. Um, I'm not sure where else they are. Let's see. Get you a closer look. Is it focusing? Yes, yeah, suppose. Anyway, so you got Doria and you got All Might. And let's see, is All Might bigger than Midoriya? See, here's where I don't like 5 inch stuff so much because they don't scale it. I mean, All Might should be huge, shouldn't he? Blah. I want All Might to be massive next to Midoriya. Okay. He feels heavy, though. Feels heavy as hell, actually. Then there is... Oh, those are big ones. Hang on. There's good ones in here, too. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry to say good ones, bad ones, but I really do like the larger ones. You know what? There's not a lot of small ones in here. I think they anticipated. I wasn't going to love. Um, maybe, oh, maybe there's only three. I don't know. Well, here's the third one. This is Bakugo. 
I mean, they did a great job on them. It's just that they're five inches. Five inches isn't in scale with much these days. You know? Hey, Julio. So, there is a 12-inch Todoroki. Let's see if you could see him or if I have to move the camera. Oh, I'll move the camera. But he's pretty damn cool. And I believe he talks and stuff. Does he? Maybe I gotta pull something out. Is that not the switch? Where's the switch? Where did the try me? Uh, I thought that belt was the switch. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. It's just stiff. Or I broke it. There you go. It's just really stiff. That's all. <laughs> Still pretty cool, though. I mean, he looks great. So, there's no denying that. So, I guess this is just, like, the for kids line. Uh, then you got... Bakugo's bracelets. Which are pretty freaking cool. They're uh, foam, smushy. You just shiver your hands in there. That's really all they do. <laughs> they don't make any noises or anything. They're just smushy bracelets. So you could whack your friends and not worry about them getting a concussion. See? You could be as cool as that little kid. There we all dream. Alright. Uh... Now, if five inch new figures are not your bag, I totally understand. Sorry, it's my garbage chair. Not my bag either. But they've still got the larger line. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is all for one. This is like the major enemy of the show. He is freaking brilliant. Look at his Akira hand. Look at that. There's like a small hand on the side. I don't know if that's like somebody he absorbed or if that's like. I don't know what that's supposed to be because he, see, he's got an arm down here. <laughs> These are things you don't notice in the cartoon. At least I didn't. Um, that's creepy. So he's got parts of other people. And his face is all. Whacked out. I can pop these open, so just say the word and I will do that. Let's see. See, these have 22 points of articulation and they're very cool. Alright, we'll put this over here for now. That thing is heavy as hell. That was hard to hold up, actually. Uh, we've got. Doria. See, in my my opinion, this looks way better than the other one. Uh, I was supposed to plug this in. That's why I have this like this. Hang on a second. I need to get some power going. Power. Uh, might not have enough length to get power going. You know what? I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to just hang on to it. This thing's not working. Okay. I'm just going to hold it. I'll have to one hand it. If I flip it, will it flip? Okay, that worked. <laughs> I was afraid it would not. 
Okay, that's better. Much better. Okay. Alright, so... Now I can get nice and close. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Here's Midoriya. And then we've got... Hiroshima, which is a favorite for a lot of people. He's awesome. Look at his face. That one's great. He's got the headgear. I don't know why there's extra hair. Do you, do you, but <laughs> I don't know how that works. Does that hair go over his other hair? That's bizarre. That's really weird. But he's got extra hands too. Extra arms, I should say. There's the back. Another cool figure. And then we've got... Oh, here's another all for one. So this is like a not powered up version, I guess. Platinum edition. Not sure what that means exactly. Maybe it's harder to get. Maybe it's like a chase or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to ask McFarlane what the platinum editions are. I thought it was like a figure that was maybe exclusive to one store or something like that. But maybe it's a chase. It's possible it's a chase. So that's cool. Alright. Then we've got one more. Here is the Sleepy Professor. How do you say his name? Aizawa? Looks extra sleepy. <laughs> That's great. With the glasses. That's going to be a cool piece that people will be using to customize stuff. I don't know what, but that just looks awesome and it'll just go right over a figure. So since these are uh, in a 7 inch scale, that should fit tons of figures. So make a note of that. So that's cool. Nice. So, uh, if you want to see any of these out of the package, I can do that. I don't know if I want to do it after or during or if I'm going to hold on to the phone, then I'm going to have to put this down in some way and break all that stuff out. So, but maybe we'll just do another live where we take them all out and compare them and review them and all that jazz. But let me move these for now. That one's heavy. Uh, oh, here's one more big piece. This one's awesome. This, like, a must-have. Look at this thing. This is so great. This looks so damn cool. And yeah, it's it's a statue, <laughs> but it's probably way less money than most statues, and it looks better than most statues. So, man. There is nothing to complain about here. He looks awesome. He's getting ready to do the kick. That's great. That's such a cool piece. What do you guys think? Are you pissy that it's a statue or do you not care because it's pretty damn cool? I love it. I think it's really cool. I think they, they nailed it. It's so hard for some companies to nail that anime look, but that's pretty damn cool. So I guess this is, what wave is this? Does it say? No, it doesn't say what wave it is. It just says seven inch action figures. I don't know. 
Well, they're brand new, is all I know. I haven't seen any of these in stores. I saw the little guys in stores. Did not see the big ones, but here, I will give you a barcode for the big one. Because I've not seen him anywhere yet. So that's awesome. Uh, what else do we want to look at? We've got a whole box of Warhammer. So let's check those out. So this is, is he a soldier? He is a space marine. Hellblaster artist proof. So artist proof in the tradition of when they would just paint the whole figure gray so you could try out the articulation and all that jazz. That's why he looks the way he does. really cool they did such a great job on these i wonder how psyched the warhammer people are for these because i mean when's the last time they got action figures i mean i know they have the miniatures the uh what do they call them something millimeter i don't know i don't know the scale but i know there's little 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 guys but these are big guys these are way cooler We've got him. Um, I should have laid these down. I'm running out of room already. Hang on. I gotta make a pile. Alright, here is uh, Blood Angels Primaris Lieutenant. This is gold label. Uh, again, I don't know what these platinum gold label, what they exactly mean. So I will find out for you. And I will tell you next time. Cool, cool, cool. I like these colors a lot. He looks pretty sharp like this. So I guess all these guys are going to be in here. Um, this is oh, this is uh, Blood Angels Hellblaster with a blue helmet. So what was the other one? The other one was a gold helmet, so here, I will show you the difference. So they have a different weapon, so he's got the sword, he's got the gun, uh, backpack is the same, uh, he's got a handgun, he's got no handgun, and you got the blue helmet, and then he's got the gold helmet and some kind of trophy, I'm assuming. So, these are really, like, meaty, too. They, they weigh, like, a good amount in the package. This is definitely what they mean by when they say more bang for your buck. Those are cool. I know nothing about Warhammer, but these are freaking awesome. Nice. Adepta Sororitas, Battle Sister, Artist Proof. So these are these must be like really new because I haven't seen any of this stuff. All I saw was like the one What are they called? Space Marines? All I have seen is one Space Marine so far, and then there was that um that skeleton looking guy. That guy. So This is very cool. And that's, this is uh, D 
Adepta Shrotus Battle Sister painted. Um, I don't know if this is how they're supposed to be painted normally, but well, this is a platinum edition. So I'm assuming I'm gonna assume these aren't like the normal paints that you would see in the game. But she looks pretty sharp and white though. Nice. Very, very cool. Okay. What else we got? Uh, one more. Or two more. Two more or one more? I'm not sure. This is, uh, I guess the regular battle sister. This is what she's supposed to look like normally. I'm going to assume... gun the sword so is the sword like a chainsaw so that looks pretty cool she looks badass i can't decide if she's cooler in black or white let's uh leave it up to you guys here's the white version here's the black version which one do you guys like better I think they've both got strong points because the white one has the black tunic and the gold pops on that black tunic whereas the black has the red and I don't think it pops as much uh, but the black is creepier mm -hmm. normally I would go for black everything because I just love black but uh I don't know there's something about the white you don't get a lot of white action figures either so having a white action figure is sort of like an anomaly these days so, I'm going to go with white. What are you guys going with? White or black? Which one do you like? Sound off in the comments. Alright, let's move on to whatever else is in this box. Uh, I think there's a Mandarin spawn in here. There we go. So, old school Mandarin spawn was brilliant. So, here's the new new. Still got the armor that looks like it's devouring him. No skimping on details. Um, I don't know how much more articulated these are, but they're supposed to be way more. Um, this says 14 plus, but it also says not a toy, so I don't know. Look at that sword. I would get this just to use the sword with my kung fu guys. Which will be another video very soon, because I've got the Shang-Chi wave, and i got to show those off. Neat. Very, very, very cool. Here's the back of the box. Very cool. Uh, these, these have been out for a while, so I'm going to assume you don't need the code for that one, but here's the big boy. I don't think he's been out at all this is the deluxe mandarin spawn and holy crap i mean i have the big boy from back in the day and he is brilliant and then they made a second one that was even more brilliant and this while it's not as big as those is really cool i just i don't know there's something i like about the style i like that he's not exactly like the action figure he's got a different helm check that out It's almost like he's from the same army, but a different warrior, which is very cool. Because then, since see, see, look, here's here's what I like about him the most. So he's big, but he's not so big that you couldn't. You know what? He's the same size as the other ones. <laughs> he's just got big giant weapons. So that's almost like a, an illusion. I thought he was like 12 inches, but he's not. He's not at all. He's, he's still seven inches. It's just he's designer edition. And he's deluxe. Which means he's got more stuff. So he's got a nice big shield. 
Um, I think that's the same sword on the side, but then he's got this double sword with the spawn symbol on it. And this old school kung fu sword, spear, whatever you want to call it. So, so yeah, so these guys are the same size. That was an optical illusion for me for a minute. Not huge, just more stuff packed in. And the box is like way bigger, so it made me think it was a big figure. But I was like, why is he so skinny? So yeah, this one's pretty badass. I have not seen this anywhere, so here is your code. So you can hunt this bad boy down. So it's Mandarin Spawn Deluxe. This is what you're looking for. Turn them around. The box is brilliant too, so if you keep in box, do not worry. Their photographer is great too. Nice pictures. Cool. It's the side of the box. Good, good, good. Okay, so box number one is empty. Uh, let's get into box number two. If I can reach it. Let's see. How do I get box number one out of the way? I'm just going to check it. Okay, that worked. <laughs> All right, where's my knife? Uh, knife, 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 knife. Where's my knife? Where'd I put it? Anybody would watch the Twitch read before? Where'd I put my knife? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have a screwdriver here. That'll do the trick. Okay. This is the size of the boxes, so so you know what I'm contending with here. Uh, okay, let's get into this guy. Okay, box two. Whoa. Mortal Kombat, guys. Nice. So you want to see Mortal Kombat first, or you want to see DC first? Let's go with Mortal Kombat first. This way we can end with DC. So we've got a new gold label spawn. He's in a gold and black deco. Comes with the mace. Little spawn symbol on top. See that? Is that focusing? Don't know. Looks cool. I mean, it's spawn. This is the best figure they've done in a very long time. So, in my opinion, you could repaint him another two times and people are still going to buy him. Uh, and we've got, ooh, Noob Cybot. This figure is so badass. I was looking at pictures of him today on the BOD on Facebook. And, yeah. He looks awesome. And his name is Noob. Wow, this looks awesome. This figure alone would want him, would make me want to uh, collect the whole damn line. How could you not? He just looks evil as hell. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, here's the back. Very cool. And we've got code on the bottom. Nice, nice. Uh, who's next? Here is Noob Bloody. This is cool as hell. I don't know if this is the chase, but people are going to be fighting over this one. I did not know this one existed. So that's cool. <laughs> Get some close-ups of all these details.
And the blood looks well placed too. Which is what I like. It's not just splattered across them. Neat. Very, very, very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know. Let's see if the code is different. Let's see. Let's see. 8792611. Yep. 11066 and then 11046. So 46 is the regular and 11066 is the bloody. So now you are armed, ready for battle. You know what to hunt for. I've uh, got Cabal. These new ones are just, I don't know. These aren't characters I'm super familiar with either. I mean, I played the game before and and uh, I've mashed all the buttons and these are characters that I'm not even familiar with, but for some reason, these are way more appealing than the other ones I've seen on the shelves. These are ones that I could see myself impulse buying, so I'm glad I don't have to. That's pretty damn cool. more weapons for your kung fu guys you better believe I'm gonna pillage these and put them with the rest of my arsenal and when we do that, that master of kung fu review we will have all of these available to pillage all right here's Cabal's code Are we not getting like a solid focus on anything? Nothing wants to focus today. I don't know. You could see it well enough, right? I hope it looks good for you. I hope everything looks good for you guys. I mean, it looks good from this distance. I just, I guess I just can't get super, super close. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Here's Bloody Cabal. Very nice. I am a sucker for the bloody variants. Get blood on the hands. Let's get blood on the chest. Uh, no blood below the belts. Okay, you got blood on the weapons too. That's cool. It's just got a lot of attitude for doing the mask. So here's the code for that one. There we go. Uh, and then we've got another spawn. This I didn't see at all. I didn't know this one existed. This is like, what do they call this one? I don't know. It's like a monochrome edition, but then he's got like blue highlights. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is it Easter spawn? Easter spawn. I don't know. He's still badass looking. I kind of want to go in and paint the blue parts white, though, so it is like a monochrome, or, or paint those parts, like, silver, like the... Because, look, you've got, like, chromed-out spikes on here, which is going to make some people really happy, and the metal looks metal, and that metal looks metal, but then you've got this blue. I don't know what the blue's all about. Um, maybe... I, it's probably just a skin in the game, so they're giving you the skins, and it's authentic to the game, so... Fantastic. I just, I don't know anything about the game, so I'm a spawn collector. I want to know what comic this is from. So, yeah, so I'm, I, I would want to go in and maybe do something with the blue. I don't know what. Maybe make it the lighter gray so it offsets. I don't know if I would want to chrome it out because then he's going to look a bit much. It's going to look like Disco Spawn. Guinea spawn. I don't know. Anyway, here's the code. Here's the back of the package. Is 
Still cool. Uh, we got a big boy. What is this? Oh, this is the one everybody's going to be hunting for. Uh, Commando spawn. Big honking figure. Now, this is actually a big one. <laughs> Not just a deluxe. This is, uh, I'm going to say, 12 inches. Does it say anywhere? I don't know if it says anywhere. Uh, no, it doesn't really say anywhere. Um, I'm going to assume it's about 12 inches tall. Here, I'll put Hydro Boy in there so you can tell. So here's Hydro Boy. So two of him maybe? One, two, yeah, I guess so. That's probably 12 inches. Okay. He is brilliant, as you would expect. Um, it says 14 plus, not a toy. Um, I don't know what the articulation on this is. Probably not much at all. I don't know. I can't tell what moves. Um, doesn't look like much moves at all because not seeing shoulders. All I know is it's heavy as hell because I can't hold it in my hand. And just balance like that. Yeah, I'm not seeing any points of articulation at all. I'm seeing, like, cuts for the armor. Which is very cool. I mean, this is a great figure. And you got this great green blast here. That I'm probably going to pilt fur for my uh, Green Lanterns. Got the gun. The awesome swoopy cape. Um... When I break him out of the package, I'll be able to show you him with the uh, couple of the older, larger scale spawns. Because I do have a couple. I think I have the Wings of Redemption, and then I've got a regular one. But, like, it's the modern one. It's not the old school one. With the awesome cape. So. Yeah, no complaints here. He's pretty damn awesome. I mean, yeah, it's a statue, but... Again, probably way less in price than you would pay for an actual statue, but look at the texture. That's cool as hell. There's just textures on everything. It's like the white has a different texture than the armor on the black. That's badass. The bullet's a little weird. The bullet's in the bandolier. They look like little stabby knives. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but everything else is pretty cool. Nice. Okay, here is your barcode. You got it. You got it. You got this. Uh, here's the back of the package in case you wanted to see the art. There you go. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got in here. The rest is, well, we got one Fortnite figure. Um, the plastic patroller. <laughs> McFarlane knows that I like their, their Fortnite line, um, but I'm, I'm picky and choosy, so I think they like cherry pick when they come out with new ones, who they want to send me. So they knew this was a winner right off the bat because, look, he's even got like the... The platforms on his feet. He's supposed to be like one of the army men. And he's got a hot dog weapon. And then he's got a great gun that I can pilfer for other stuff. So, this is a great figure. It's a lot of fun. It's it's cartoony. No bones about it, but... Uh, I don't know. There are situations that you could use this. Um, it could definitely be like a, a Joker creation or Toy Man. If anybody has a Toy Man figure, you can make an army of these army guys. This Big Mouth figure is awesome too. And and this dragon, if you haven't seen him in person, go get him. And an army of Peelies is definitely an awesome thing to have. And then this guy right here, I can't remember his name, but he's pretty badass too. So there's a lot you can get from the Fortnite line where you can pilfer the accessories and the guys are just pretty damn cool. Um, and some you could use with other stuff, and some not so much. Like, like Big Mouth is awesome, but where the hell else would you use them? I do not know. So, yeah. Alright, now we got a crap ton of DC stuff. So, 
Uh, this is all stuff I haven't seen before in person. So this is stuff in the beginning with Shriek. So this is Shriek from Batman Beyond. Um, I'm going to assume it's like an artist representation of it. I don't know if they see, I don't, I never read any of the Batman Beyond stuff coming into the modern comics. And I'm sure that they have because he's so freaking popular that they, how could they not have? But uh, I, I watched all of the old cartoons. Oh, does he really come with that shield? That thing is cool. That's something you could use for Magneto. Is that, oh yeah, it's in there. It's right there. Duh. I am blind. I'm sorry. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, that could be a Magneto shield. <laughs> That's awesome. So, happy with that. Um... Oh, and then you make this big-ass Batman. Nice. Okay, okay. All right, so that's Shriek. Here's the code. Right there. And we're going to do, of course, Batman Beyond. This thing is very cool looking. This is probably the best Batman Beyond figure anybody's ever made. I'm just going to say hands down. I'm mainly a collector of the Justice League stuff. Justice League Unlimited. And uh, Batman Animated. And Batman Beyond. And, you know, all of those cartoons. The Bruce Timm stuff. So, when you do an awesome version of one of those characters. With very cool detail. It makes me happy as hell. And I'm a sucker for Bat Family. And McFarlane gives us nothing but Bat Family lately. So, um, it makes me wonder how they're going to handle the designs on some of the other characters when they start delving into the whole universe. I, guess, I don't know if, if it's when they feel free to, or if they get the green light to, or I don't know if DC is telling them what to make, or... Don't know. I'm still waiting for the, the Batman versus Spawn set with the capes, the crazy, crazy capes. That's first on my list. So, but you know, until then, got a new Batman Beyond figure. <laughs> That's badass. All right, here is the code. Code, code, code. And here is the back. Slightly different from the other. Um, oh, so it's Futures and Batman, and did they not announce who else is in the line? Well, okay, so they're shrouded, so one is, one is Batman Beyond and one is Shriek, but then there's like two others, uh, I don't know, maybe the other two come out in another line? I don't know, I'm out of the loop. Uh, okay, we've got Flash. Earth 52 gold label. This is awesome. Uh, the regular colors of this are pretty badass, but this figure in particular looks so great in gold. Look at this thing. I don't know why. He just looks savage as hell in gold. That's awesome. That's so cool. I guess it's accurate if there's a picture like that. Well, this is in this line. Damien. Uh, the Deep. Deathstroke. Cool. All right. So anyway, here is barcode. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, moving on. We have got uh, another repaint, Batman. It's a White Knight Red Edition. This one makes me think of Catman. And I can't not think of Catman when I see the blue Batman outfit, the brown Batman outfit, sorry. But that's a very cool accessory. That's very cool. <laughs> That's nice. You got one wound up and then you got one ejected. 
and then they both go in the launcher, I guess. That's cool. I mean, he looks great in brown, but I just think of Catman. Now I want a Catman figure. You gotta make me a Catman figure. <laughs> uh, here you go. Here's the code. And here is the back of the package. The art. Cool. cool. Big pile over here. We got Wonder Woman. This is uh with Helmet of Fate. But what is it from? Uh Last Night on Earth. Okay. So that's cool as hell. I do not know the story here, but that's awesome. I like Dr. Fate. He's always had a really cool design. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. Uh, oh, so it's from this wave. Oh, I wonder if there's a gorilla garage down there. Here's your barcode. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Hellbat Gold Edition. This one also looks really cool in gold. Um, I kind of want to make them copper, though. With, like, oxidized spots. The rust would be really cool. This is such a great design, this whole costume. I do not know the story at all. <laughs> it's Hellbat from, uh, is that a dark side thing? Do not know, but it's cool. How can you not like a killer looking robot Batman? Nice. Here is the code. And here is the art on the back. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, who's next? Bizarro. Check out that face. Only his mama loves him. It's a really interesting design. I wonder how much it's like, if it's exactly from the comics or if it's like an artist's interpretation or what. But I've definitely never seen a face like that before for Bizarro. He's got rips in his cape. A little phrase down on the bottom. Definitely a modern Bizarro, because look, he doesn't have the shorts. Very cool. It's got a lot of attitude. I love it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's see art on the back. See, if that's the art it's based on, that's totally different. So that's like an artist rendition. Because it looks nothing like that. Even the, the swoop of the cape. See, this is like way back. It almost looks like he's got like a hunchback. He's less monstrous in this version. Interesting decisions. Alternate hands though. Uh, here you go. There's your code. And we've got... Oy. Nightwing. Death of the family. So it's like a... I don't know, is it Jokerized Nightwing? Is that what we're calling him?
I don't know. He's very cool. <laughs> that face is sick. Here's your code. Art on the back. regular Nightwing art. Um, here is Batman designed by Todd McFarlane. So this is 100% artist interpretation. So lots of patches, <laughs> lots of points. Got points on the shoulders. Got nice tall ears. Sorry the packaging is all scuffed, but Can't complain when you get free samples. The price is definitely right. And I'm going to take them out anyway. This is just to show you all of the new stuff right out of the box. Um, I will break them all out because just because it's going to take a significant amount of time. I don't want to waste your time watching me open packages and crap. And then I got to figure out how to mount the camera and all of that fun stuff. I'm sure you want to see. Um, here's the other version of Batman Beyond, where he has mouth. <laughs> oh, and he's got blasters, too. He's got, uh, thrusters, which I guess go on his, I don't know, they go on his feet, right? I'm just positive they, the blasters came out of his feet. Very cool. Here is the code. And here's the art on the back, which is the same as the other. Except he's got the mouth. Is it the same as the other? I don't remember. Honestly. <coughs> Excuse me. It's dusty down here. Okay, so that's Batman Beyond. Um, then you've got... Green Lantern John Stewart. It's one of my favorites. It's definitely my favorite Green Lantern. His armor looks pretty badass. Uh, you can see the details in there. There's a lot going on there. And it even looks semi translucent. If I'm not super confused. See, because that's painted. And then that's the armor on top. And then you could see his costume underneath. So, yeah, that's like construct armor. Pretty badass. And then you got the gun construct. And a backpack construct. He is cool. Very nice. I'm happy with that one. Uh, here you go. Here's your code. And here is the art on the back. Awesome. I believe that is the bottom of the box. Yep. That's everybody. So that's all of them. Um, I just wanted to get through it all so you could see all of the new stuff that's hitting stores right now. Um, there were definitely some things in there I had not seen before. I don't know if you had. Um, some of you are probably more hardcore than me, so you've seen them. But uh, yeah, that's uh, some awesome stuff. Um, if you want a little bonus, I can show you the stuff I just got from a muck time. So... Here is, Amok Time is, uh, they do Monstars, is their line. They do like monster toys that nobody would ever thought would get made. So here's Green Slime, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> Check that out. The box alone is phenomenal. Look at that thing. It's great. 
turn it around for you. Green Slime. Uh, if you watch this movie, the song is probably playing in your head right now. And it's, it's a terrible song. <laughs> it's a very, very bad song. Um, I don't know if there are stores that carry this stuff besides Amok Time, but you can definitely get them at Amok Time online. Paul's got your hookup. Look at that guy. He's just very cool looking. If you like tentacle monsters, this is a bad boy. That's cool. And then I got, um, these were from this past weekend at, um, Allentown. Allentown Toy Show. Uh, here is the reanimator set I got. Ah. Here we go. Okay. That art is awesome. So these are three and three quarter. So if you want to experiment on your G.I. Joe's, this is the man to do the job. Be cool to take the uh, the the zombie virus things from the modern Joe's and put them with these guys. Can make a cool little diorama. There's a second um Damn it, his name just fell out of my head. Uh, Herbert West. There's a second Herbert West figure, which is him alone without him. And uh, it's got an alternate hand of him holding the head, which is great. <laughs> this is, of course, him holding his own head. And that's the mannequin head. And that's the bat head. <laughs> So cool. I had to get this. This was a must. Here's the back. So yeah, that's a muck time. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so let's wrap it up. Um, we're at about an hour, which is a good time to stop. So, uh, yeah, next time we've got, um, geez, we've got so much to cover. I've got the Shang-Chi wave for, uh, Marvel Legends. And, uh, I want to show that off with any Kung Fu designated figures that I've got. So you can see how they work with everybody. And then I've got a big box from Playmobil of all their new, uh, dragons from, uh, DreamWorks. So those are going to be cool. And uh, then we still got to break all of these McFarlane out of their box. So, um, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you later. Thanks for watching.